It was a harsh winter, the snow deep and the wind bitter cold. Slowly the warmth of the sun melts the frozen land. Deep in the forest dance an old Indian man with arms outstretched to the sun. For today he would go on, on his spiritual quest. It would not be the same as springs before. He would travel on his quest alone. His life partner and mother of his children did not survive the bitter winter. With sadness in his heart, he knows this journey will be his last. Awakening from her sleep, comfortable under a deerskin blanket, a young Indian maiden hears footsteps. She peeks through the bearskin hide, which is the doorway to her home. She sees her grandfather trudging slowly up the mountain. She feels his pain and knows he must travel alone to speak to his spirit. She remembers springs before when she would watch her grandparents enter the forest together. The days grow warmer and grandfather has been gone for many days. She whispers to her mother with a concerned look on her face. Her mother reaches for her hand and places a flint in her open palm. The Indian maiden gathers her belongings and hurries into the forest. Glancing back, she waves farewell to her mother. Her mother smiles and nods her head in approval. Soon the Indian maiden disappears into the forest. All that remain are the footprints in the fresh falling snow. Grandfather, weak from days on his quest, <clears throat> rests on a rock, listening to the running water of a small stream. He senses someone coming at a distance. He builds his shelter and strikes a tree with his tomahawk, leaving a gap on a tree. And then he slowly retires into his shelter of branches and boughs, dreaming of a time as a young warrior, vibrant and strong. The Indian maiden sees the tomahawk from a distance. She slowly approaches it, and beneath it are her grandfather's belongings. Water from the handle of the tomahawk drips into the hollowed-out log. She quietly starts a fire and prepares her grandfather's meal. As a sweet aroma drips into the shelter, her grandfather awakens. There by the fire sits, sits his granddaughter. She hands him the bowl of food and gives him a questioning look, for the food she had prepared has a taste foreign to her. Grandfather finishes his meal. He glances up at the tree as, he, as the sweet water drips from his tomahawk. He smiles and secretly tells his granddaughter of his vision and bestows on her a sacred name. For without her, his vision would have only been a dream. The Creator has given us a gift to be shared by all. As the seasons turn into years, the Indian maiden often told her story to her people while making sweet food using the sap from the maple tree. The Indian maiden became known as the Sweetwater Maiden, the name her grandfather gave her. <laughs>